Law on my face of Mars, and the infamous killer Charles Manson has died. I've been skimming through this article, and Charles Manson, the 60s cult leader behind one of the most notorious killings in American history, died Sunday in California after a long illness. Officials said he was 83. Manson, who infamously wore a swastika tattoo between his eyebrows, which would look great in crosshairs, had spent more than 25, 45 years in prison after being convicted of directing his Manson family clan of troubled, mostly female followers to kill seven people in California in the summer of 1969. That included actress Sharon Tate, pregnant wife of director Roman Polanski, who was stabbed 16 times. Sorry about that. I know what that was. Uh, born on November 12, 1934, in Cincinnati, Ohio, to a prostitute named Kathleen Mannix. Manson was officially dubbed the no name Mannix at birth. Apparently never knew his biological father. At a very young age, Manson was a self-styled outlaw, who took pride in being criminal and reveled in all the mayhem he caused. And it goes on, there's a long list of crimes, I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, the point is, the system kept, this, kept a revolving door on this guy until he went and killed a bunch of people. We have a legal system, we don't have a justice system. That's the bottom line. We like robbing gas stations, stealing cars, that kind of things. The attempts to reform him did nothing. Here's apparently a more recent picture of this animal, and there's a picture of the woman that he murdered. Sharon Tate. Well, there you have it. It's not something I need to go into in the detail. Uh, he's going to have some groupies that are going to be sad. Huh. For the rest of us, for the same people in this world, this is a relief. But this animal is not even an animal, he's a maggot. Even worse than a maggot, he's a slime. He's gone from the planet. Yeah! I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.